So in this Ferris wheel problem, we have, um, parametrically speaking, this Ferris wheel that's going around one revolution every 12 seconds. So the first thing we have to do is write some equations. And the general equation would be, let's see. R times the cosine of the angular velocity times time plus the H center of the circle. There is in V naught. There is time in V naught. So we'll leave it like that for now. And the Y is R times the sine of the angular velocity times time plus K the y value of the center. So we need to first calculate v naught, which needs to be the angular velocity in radians per second. So I currently have a revolution of one revolution every 12 seconds. One revolution is equal to two pi radians for one revolution. Sorry, that's not equals, but rather multiply. We'll do some stoichiometry. And does that give me radians per second? Revolutions cancel out, and I get a simplified version of pi over 6 radians per second. So my actual equation looks like a radius of 35 times the cosine of pi t over 6 plus, let's see, the x value, let's make the x value 0. That means the y equation is going to be 35 sine of pi over 6t plus 50. That's the 15 feet to here plus the 35 foot radius gives me a center at 0 comma 50. So a reasonable graph for the window, it takes 12 seconds to go all the way around. So 0 to 12 is a good t value. The x, so from the leftmost point to the rightmost point, negative 35, or rather let's just do 0. 0 to 70, because there's a diameter of 70. And a reasonable for the Y, it's 15 feet is the minimum that he can be off the ground. And 85 is the maximum he can be off the ground because of, once again, that diameter of 70. 75 plus 15 is 85. So these are the equations you can put into your calculator to figure out how far off the ground is Tesla after two seconds. So let's do that real quick, and then I'll be right back to show you the answer. So when I put these equations in my calculator, I had a negative 35 as the x part and a positive 35, and then up to 85 in the y, and I got a graph that looked like this. Okay, so it starts here at t equals 0, and as I traced up above here, I got at t equals 2, the y value is 80.3 feet. So after two seconds, Chesley is 80.3 feet off of the ground. Oh.